Hey guys, Kiko here. I'm always watching you guys playing some of my songs, some of my solos. And in this video, I want to invite you to watch with me some of great videos that I found online. But before that, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments, all right? So let's start with this one that I found playing Dilemma. Dilemma is a song from my first um, album, No Gravity. And his name is T Jack TSK. So let's take a look. Nice, it's perfect. Tapping part, perfect. I like his uh, little pony there. No, it's not, not a little pony, it's like a... It's not a little pony, it can be a little pony or maybe it's a unicorn. Actually, my daughter, she loves unicorn. But anyways, it's, it's a beautiful Ibanez. But he's playing amazingly great. I like that he put like a the clock there so we can be sure that he's not cheating. He's not doing anything like uh, changing the speed of the video. Very cool. Spot on perfect. Perfect. Very precise picking technique. Very precise picking technique. It's funny his legs are like in a different tempo, it's like faster than the song. But anyways, the hands are spot on. Perfect timing. Cool. If I could say something, you know, that could, you know, just uh, my opinion, like the vibrators could be like not so like super fast. Uh, would be something you can you can improve a little bit. I think this song, this hybrid picking uh, moment there, it was the first time I. Yeah, this part it was the first time I kind of used this hybrid picking, and now I use it all the time. With... So, T Jack, TSK, you're awesome, perfect, very nice, very nice. Thanks a lot for you know doing a video over this song Dilemma. I recorded it in 2004, long time ago. All right, let's see another one. This guy uh, is from Brazil. I can see Luis Rodriguez. It's a uh, escaping trio, escaping. It's one of my songs from the first album. So they have uh, several uh, cover songs from my albums, which is pretty cool. So it's a trio, Diego, Canuto, and Luis. Oh, that looks mean. Perfect. Pretty difficult actually, this intro. Alright. It's quite hard to play, so um, Felipe Andreoli recorded the bass on the album. Oh no! No, I, I did the bass, I forgot. I did the bass, I recorded that bass. Oh yeah, I forgot. But, anyways, um, Felipe did the other albums. But this one I, re I remember tracking all the basses and uh, Mike Turana on drums so yeah, it's a quite you know intricate arrangement a lot of notes Luis great job and a very cool video too great editing uh, let's see this part here the tapping part that's quite challenging Nice job, man. Very cool. Now this part is difficult. <laughs> the drama. That's <laughs> again. Oh yeah. That was funny. Every note, everything's great. I'm so like uh, honored to have uh, all these people taking the time to learn the songs and note per note and you know creating all you know the video the editing the recording learning and rehearsing I know it's a lot of <laughs> a 
Or does it, everybody looks tired. Cool. Well, let's see another one now. Angela, Angela Maldonado. Let's see, playing Reflective. So Reflective is uh, from my fourth solo album. You can find the backing track online. If you want, you can jam along and post a video as well, so I can comment in another video. So let's see Angela. Cool, perfect. She has a very good hand technique, like a very precise, like almost like a classical, a classical player. Perfect. All the notes are correct. All the notes. All right. Let's see now. Yeah. Very nice. Because I normally this part I use the whammy bar, so she's using the last pole. She doesn't have this. Um, element to help, but uh, very good. Angela Maldonado. Well, I should be like from South America, I guess, by the name, Spanish. Oh, wow, she did. Oh, this part, I, I used tapping. She made it even more complicated. You know, oh, yeah. Thanks a lot for, for, you know, taking the time to learn the song and doing the video. It is interesting because I remember when I started playing, you know, there was a few girls or uh, playing guitar. Maybe like I had one a friend, a, uh, a girl that uh, played guitar, maybe uh, Jennifer Batten. In nowadays we, we can find online so many uh, great guitar players, um, so many girls uh, playing you know, better, better than the guys, and uh, you know, like uh, Nita and uh, Lari Brasilio and um, Angela. It's beautiful. I'm so happy to see like the girls, um, more and more, uh, the girls playing guitar. All right, let's see this this kid here. I love when I see those videos of young kids playing guitar. So this one, Simo, playing Dystopia from Megadeth. Simo, A Simo, nice, beautiful, beautiful guitar. Man, how old are you? Like 11, 12, I guess? Well, when I was 11, I was trying to get my first G major chord. So, he's playing Dystopia. So, let's see. Oh, perfect. Dave's Melody. Man, those kids. Spot on, every note is perfect. Timing is good. Energy. He's feeling the vibe. That's cool. I see he has, a, he has an acoustic guitar there, like a nylon one, and he has a an, uh, uh, steel one. He likes orange, I can see. Anyways, perfect, man. Let's see here. All right, the solo now. Doing the hybrid picking. That's cool. That's hard. I know. Cool. The only thing I can think about it when I was his age trying to play my first chords, <laughs> trying to learn like whatever, like maybe not even like the first pentatonic. You know, like super slow and uh, wow, well, man! Like learning like the first power chord. It's, it's an amazing. It is amazing to see that. Now the tapping. It's cool, perfect. I have to tell you, this is pretty fast. Sometimes, you know, if I don't practice just before going on stage, I'm gonna have a hard time playing those 
hard. God. That's Dave solo. Man. Awesome. Let's see the very end. Yeah. I want to watch more videos from Simo. Nice, Simo. Thanks a lot for doing this. Amazing. Now, another one here. Vandré Nascimento. He's a Brazilian guy. I know, he's my friend. I know him from for a long time. And I, I want to put this video because he's a great guitar player. And he's doing the touch technique with two guitars. He's playing a song that I, I only... I used to play in my guitar clinics years ago, like a long time ago, even before my solo album. And the guy's playing <laughs> with two guitars. Vandré. Look this. Yes. That's no fun. The guy's too good. You guys have to check him out. So this song, I remember... I don't know, I, I had to... I don't know, I have to like compose some stuff for a, for a instructional video. So just basically a lot, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, just a backing track. But it's fun to see those uh, uh, Van Vrapp playing. Some other guys also did some covers from this song. Actually, I have a Young Tar video playing that uh, song as well, right? So Dream Circle. I wonder if it would be a good idea one day to do, a, you know, to record for real uh, that song. Check this out. Andre is one of the best guitar players in Brazil for sure. Love that. Like his arrangement, the song now is much better. Okay, now Conquer or Die from Megadeth. And uh, let's see this kid here, multi instrumental cover. So let's see. Megadeth, Conquer or Die. Owen Davy. Wow, perfect. It's getting good sound from the acoustic. Megadeth shirt, spot on, nice. I have on my channel a lesson teaching how to play that if you are, if you want to try to play as well. Wow. Drums, guitar, bass. Man. Wow. Great energy on the drum. Oh, two guitars? Yeah, perfect. Harmonies. He's playing the bass with a pick, like David. Check the ride, it's like, sound great. I'm sure Dirk would, like, approve 100%. What's happening to those kids? They just... The future, right? How they can play that good at such a young age. Cool. The tapping. I use the, the guitar pick to do this. Uh, the tapping, kind of like uh, Randy Rhodes. Yeah, Satriani does it as well. It gets a little bit a different sound, but uh, it's cool. Oh, he has some kind of uh, endorsement deals there. You know, pro guy. Owen, amazing. You're like super, super talented. Uh, thanks a lot for taking the time to learn the song and, you know, to learn on drums, bass, uh, the acoustic part and all the, the entire solo. If you guys want to learn that song here on my channel, I played Conquer or Die in slow motion and also there's a lesson uh, showing how to play the, 
acoustic intro and also I'm playing the entire part and the entire solo in slow motion so you can see note per note if you want to learn as well all right so let's go for the next one now in dangerous pieces this song is from my first album I even don't remember how to play that song I should try to do a cover of myself Oliver Raphael and John Bosco eu falo, eu sempre falo que vocês não me importam se eu falei isso com um sotaque de americano. John. 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 Oliver. Rafael. Rafi. <risos> Let's see. Pretty metal 6 8 song, and now I have some power pages. Nice. You know what? I think I'm gonna watch this video to learn how to play that song. Because, you know, I can't, you know, I can hear like all the notes are perfect. So, you know. Nice. I'm sure Mike Tirana would be amazed to see if those guys playing his parts like this, like perfect. Great energy, great sound, tempo, super precise. I recorded that bass that I was not playing with my fingers for sure. I was just like, I, I don't remember. Probably I, I was using the guitar pick, but I remember that my fingers were, were totally destroyed after the maybe like two or three days of bass recording. I'm not a bass player, so, you know. Cool. That's my... I was experimenting, adding those Latin grooves, and uh, it was always fun to teach uh, Mike Tirana, pure American from New York, how to play those uh, Brazilian grooves. But he was... Uh, he did a great job. Cool, Oliver, perfect, man. Guys, great job. Man, Oliver, thanks a lot for doing this, for learning the song and putting all the effort. All right, another one from Megadeth. This one, Jerry plays, the threat is real. So, let's see. Jerry Teacup. Oh, wow. Flora, Riff, it's great. Oh wow, that's a... That is... Oh, that's... That's a good production. I think I'm gonna start doing this live. I like that. I like the visual effects. Purple. Yourself in the back. That's, that's cool. I know it's not easy to play and sing at the same time, so excellent job, man. Cool. Wow. Like, nice editing. That's Dave's solo. Cool. Yeah, sounds... I don't know how to play that solo, but it sounds pretty accurate. Alright, let's see the solo now. Cool. Yeah. Bands sometimes are tough, I know. Yeah. Oh, I like your guitar brand. Jerry Teacup. JTC Jerry Teacup. Nice. Cool. <laughs> I did a video playing that solo on my channel so you can take a look. So, you know, it's a little bit different. So if you want to take the time and uh, relearn the way it is. But I think... It's, it's great, you know, it's just different, and I think it's pretty cool when you improvise on top of the backing track. When I was uh, learning how to play guitar, I was kind of trying to learn solos, but I was never like into like learning 100% note per note. I was always like like 70% uh, accurate, and then always I always wanted to improvise on top of the original solo. So great job, Jerry! I can see you put a lot of effort here, learning 
how to play the bass, guitar, the, all the solos, memorizing all the lyrics, doing the video, the editing. Thanks a lot for doing this. All right, I just wanna thank a lot for all the effort all of those guys put into those songs. I know they're not easy songs. All of the videos, everyone sounded great. And uh, there are so many videos online playing Megadeth songs or playing my songs. So I will keep looking for other ones here and then probably if you guys like, I'm gonna do more reacts and more comments. If you want me to watch your videos or your friends' videos or any video that you think would be cool to see my react just leave the link here below subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video